Hello, my name is Kimberly Olson, and today I'm going to share with you my tofu fried rice recipe. If you haven't had a chance to check out my other videos, please do at FitKim TV on YouTube or go to my blog at FitKim.com. Now, if you don't like tofu, don't stop watching this because I you can also replace the tofu for the chicken, and it's super easy to do. And this is something that I love making a bulk amount and actually freezing it. It does really well in the freezer, and as far as reheating it, uh, so it's awesome if you are on the go or you get home late from work and you don't have time to make dinner, you can just thaw this out and eat it. So it's awesome, it's healthy, and it's just very good. I love it. So what I'm going to do, I'm actually going to zoom in just so you can see most of it's done on the stove, and that way you can see how I do it. And I'll put all of the ingredients, the directions, and the nutritional content on my blog. All I want you to do right now is just follow along so you can see how it's made. So the very first thing we're going to do is take our tofu and we're going to go ahead and brown that. So I'm going to take a tablespoon of coconut oil and actually what I'll do before that is I'll go ahead and turn it up. I do medium high heat, medium heat, and then when I'm ready to cook I make sure it's on medium so you can do that to kind of melt your coconut oil. So just let that melt. hot and then we're going to go ahead and add the tofu and what really helps with tofu is when you buy it go ahead and cut it into small pieces like that how I have it but what you can do is actually lay it out on a cutting board and then put paper towel like two layers of paper towel over it and put something heavy on top and let it sit soak up for about 30 minutes and that takes a lot of the moisture out and it makes it easier to cook So this tofu actually takes quite a bit to cook it. Um, I like it to be pretty firm. I bought extra firm. And it just depends on how you are with texture. This is something that's really good to do if you're trying to eat less meat, but also for people in your family that you don't think they'll like tofu, they love this. This is very good with the family, for sure. Now while that's cooking, I'm gonna go ahead and scramble up two eggs. And probably need less than a tablespoon for sure, maybe half a tablespoon of coconut oil. So I'm going to do two, I have two uh, organic cage free eggs here. Now all you're going to do is just gently scramble the egg. Now don't worry about timing with this as far as when you do the eggs and all that. I usually start with the tofu because it takes the longest. Um, if you want to, one of the steps to do uh, before you even start this, and this is on the ingredients and directions, is you're going to need brown rice, but you want it to be cooked ideally because brown rice takes so long. So I already cooked my brown rice. So if you want to do that first, um, that would be your, a good idea. That way it's ready to go. But these things can be sitting for a little bit because you're going to put everything together at the end and heat it. So don't worry about the timing. Uh, don't get wrapped up in that. I'm going to go ahead and cook, like I said, the tofu for about 10 minutes, flipping occasionally, and then I'm going to finish scrambling these eggs, and then I'm going to set both aside. Now the last step is we're going to combine everything together. So all you have to do is take your brown rice, and actually, just kidding, you need to heat your pan up first. So go ahead and put it on medium heat and add some coconut oil, about a tablespoon.
Okay, so I'm gonna have it on medium heat the whole time. So we're gonna add the brown rice. Remember, you already want this cooked. It's two cups cooked, about one cup uncooked. Then we're gonna take two cups of mixed vegetables. I chose uh, this frozen pack. It has carrots, green beans, it looks like lima beans, and corn. It's really good. And you can just do that in the frozen section and just thaw it out. And then you're gonna add your tofu. And it's not, everything's not completely perfect, but it's okay because we're gonna cook this all together a little bit longer. Then add your eggs. Then you're gonna take three tablespoons of low sodium soy sauce. And then at the very end, you're just gonna add two uh, stalks of green onion. And you can just add those right at the end. So just mix it all together and go ahead and cook it for another three to five minutes. You just wanna make sure everything's heated through. So see how even though it's fried rice, it's not like we're frying the heck out of it. It's just more over medium heat. But this is gonna replace your traditional fried rice that people seem to love so much. I would eat this any day over the fried rice at a Chinese restaurant. So go ahead and cook that up for three to five minutes. So that's all there is to it. As you can see, this is super easy to make. Just mix everything together, add your green onions, and you'll be good to go. Make sure it's heated through, and it is pretty hot, so you can serve immediately. And I'm gonna go ahead and try it. It looks really hot. Mm-hmm. This is awesome. You have to try it. What I love about it is that it tastes good filling just like that fried rice you get at a Chinese restaurant, but it doesn't taste greasy and it's just so much lighter and healthier for you than what you would get there. You have to try it. It makes great leftovers the next day. And again, remember you can freeze, freeze this really easily too. So try this. Tell me what you think, any variations, and again, you can replace the tofu for chicken if you wanna do that instead. Let me know how you like this video, and if you do like this video, please subscribe at FitCam TV on YouTube, or go to my blog at FitCam.com. Thanks for watching, have a great day, and we'll see you soon.